we go now guys here we go we've got the innocent gun in a new label barrel aged the original bourbon barrel scotch ale bourbon okay six and a half percent i think i've done it with the old label a few years ago i know i did the rum one because i really enjoyed that but this one's the bourbon one the bourbon scotch it's a bit weird same bourbon and scotch in the same sentence anyway as you can see or can you there's a beady head on it but you're not expecting much head on any beer that's been made in a barrel that sort of flattens them out uh, the original is our flagship beer the one that started it all our unique bourbon barrel aging process unlocks flavors like vanilla and toffee which combine with the multi character of our scotch ale to create an incredible taste experience we've spent more than a decade perfecting our craft find out how we put these barrels into the beer at innocentgun.com of course all right i'll give it a crack i like bourbon i like scotch and i like beer should be good Hmm. Yeah. yeah that's not too bad very smooth hints of bourbon there's not much wood in there extra sweetness toffee definitely pretty complex sort of beer without being ridiculous six and a half percent it's a good percentage i sort of like beers around this percentage six and a half ipas anything six and a half percent is just gorgeous you know even uh, left brown brewing six six percent i think just nice you know six six and a half percent you got a good beer plenty of flavor biscuity toffee caramel bit of vanilla at that time yep no oh, this is gorgeous i've had plenty actually got a soft spot for the rum one and i've bought plenty more of them and i can't really remember buying this for years but you know every year i'll buy the rum one three or four times at least a six pack a uh, four pack i think four pack but this one I've left alone for a long time and it's actually grown on me. Yeah, I don't mind that. All right, you want a travel story? I'll give you another travel story. Here we are. I think we're in, um, this would have to be like Guatemala, Mexico somewhere. These look like the same sort of people, but that could be a New Mexico, American ones. But anyway, what I like is traveling of course and enjoying all the fruits of the travel and the different places there's something about mexico i've always liked and it's the ancient knowledge of all the um stars mathematics and all that hey it's pretty interesting um it was a mighty empire and they they really they lasted right up until not that long ago 150 years ago they they fought off the spanish for about 350 years it took the spanish that long to wipe out their kingdom 350 years they were on an island and eventually the spanish built ships in the in the jungle and landed the ships on the lake and then went on and hit Flores, or they call it Flores now, I reckon the Mayans called it something else, and they wiped out the libraries, you know, the all the religious, all the stuff, of, you know, astrology, everything they had written, all their records were all destroyed, all the buildings destroyed, all their gold taken, everything taken or destroyed, and then turn all their old buildings into 